Having an external style sheet is a very important part of Dreamweaver, so today I'm going to bring you through the rundown of how to attach that external style sheet, and if you don't already have one made, make a new one. So let's get started. So here we are up in Dreamweaver, and you just want to open that up, and we want to create a new HTML document. Now I'm going to be showing you two ways how to attach the style sheet. Both are as effective as the other, but one is a better habit. So here I am, page type HTML, and right here it says attach CSS file. Click on that little icon there, and it'll bring up this dialog box. Here you can browse for your style sheet, which is inside your root folder, and click OK, and then press create. Now that is the first way of attaching your CSS style sheet, and that's the external style sheet. Um, if you don't already have a CSS file, you need to go on your left panel here, and make sure you select CSS, create, and then save that into a CSS folder inside your root folder and then inside that CSS folder you'll have your file named. So let's just create a blank HTML page here with no attached sheet. So that's how you attach it the first way. So let's get out of that, cancel and just create a blank HTML page. Now as you can see here on the right panel CSS styles it says that there is no style sheet defined or no style sheet attached. Now does, this is very very easy, it's exactly the same as the last way. If you don't have this left right panel on over here where it says CSS styles, just go to window and go to CSS styles and make sure that's checked. So right along here on the bottom we have an array of options. We have attach a new style sheet which is what we're going to be using. We have create a new CSS rule and we have delete rules and all that kind of stuff. So let's just click on that attach external style sheet. The dialog box that we saw earlier is going to be there. We're going to press browse. It's going to bring us to our folders. We want to click on site root if you already have your website defined. If you don't, just navigate to it. So I don't have a site defined, so I'm just going to look for it. Now here's what I'm on about. This is my root folder. I have an images folder and a CSS folder. Inside my CSS folder, I have my style.css. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter what it's named. And now that it's attached, you can see right here, it says all files. We have style.css there, and the rules will appear under that. And then over here on the top panel we have a style.css and a source code which means we can navigate between both without actually exiting each one. And it's much much quicker and much much easier. So that's all for today, that's how easy it was you guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I did this tutorial because some person asked me to, I don't know if I should name them or not so I just won't. And uh, thank you for asking that question. If you have any other questions just leave it in the comment section below. Also give this a thumbs up if you liked it, give it a thumbs down if you didn't, I don't mind the feedback and subscribe if you're a new viewer if you're not thank you for watching again so this is z tutorials and i am signing out